Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about Fourier transform. I'm hoping that before watching this video, you have already watched my videos based on Fourier series. So let's begin. If you ask what do you mean by Fourier transform, then it means that you are transforming a function into its into another domain. Let's say, for example, you are transforming time into frequency domain. So in that sort of function, you use for a transform. Okay, so let's have an uh, example. So here you have to find out the Fourier transform for fx and the values are given to you. First of all, let me give you the formula for Fourier transform. So there are two formulas which you need to be aware. Let's say if you have a function f in terms of s, then it is 1 by root 2 pi limit minus infinity to infinity e raised to power iota x sx fx dx. So this is your function. You have to apply the multiplication of this function with e raised to power iota sx with 1 by root 2 pi and the limit is minus infinity to infinity. So this is for Fourier transform and if you want to find out inverse Fourier, Fourier transform that means see in Fourier transform what is given to you is function and you are finding out Fourier transform. But let's say if you are given with Fourier transform and then from it you have to find out fx that means the function then that would be your inverse Fourier transform. And the formula for that would be everything would remain same. It's just that you have to take. So here, instead of iota, you will be having minus iota sx. Instead of fx, you will be having fs ds. Okay. So this would be your Fourier transform and its inverse. Okay. Now, let's begin with, let's apply these two formulas into this question. So, if you see, question, function is given to you. Now, first of all, in order to find out the Fourier transform, the formula is fs 1 by root 2 pi limit minus infinity to infinity e raised to power iota sx fx dx. So, if you see, what is your fx? You, will, you have these values, right? So if your modulus x is less than or equal to a, that means your x is lying from minus a to a, right? Because it is equal and less than equal and uh, so equal function is also given here. But if you take this, so it will be having other than this interval. That means minus infinity to minus a and then minus a to infinity right so minus infinity to minus a and then minus a to infinity rest all is covered here right so now if you distribute this function here fx is given right so this is your fx dx because this formula is having minus infinity to infinity so if you distribute it into these three intervals so you will see fs would be 1 by root 2 pi minus infinity to infinity e raised to power I minus iota sx so now fx would be 0 if you take limit minus infinity to minus a right similarly you are splitting this okay your first part is this then your second part would be you have already taken minus infinity to a minus a now 1 by root 2 pi minus a to a right minus a to a e raised to power minus iota sx your fx is 1 in this case right 1 dx right so because it is it is your fs you have put here now your third part would be so you are done with minus infinity to minus a, minus a to a. Now, 1 by root 2 pi, a to infinity, right? This would be a to infinity. 
and again for this case your fx is 0 right so this is 0 this is 0 you only need to solve this function right so your fs would be 1 by root 2 pi minus a to a e raised to power minus sx dx now if you have heard about this thing e raised to power iota sx this is the formula for cos x cos sx plus iota sin sx okay so this is e raised to power iota sx dx limit minus a to a okay now if you see if you distribute it cos sx dx and then iota sin sx dx you know that sine is an odd function, right? Why odd? If you have a function, let's say x, and if you put minus value of that, so minus, you will get minus x. So when fx is minus fx, okay, when fx is equals to minus fx, then this is odd. And you know in that case, sine is an odd function right so for odd function i have already made video on this for odd function if the function is odd limit minus infinity to infinity or you can say minus a to a is zero okay whereas for even function if you are having minus a to a even function dx then that would be zero to a twice of that function dx okay so I'm writing it down here cos x is even function so what it would be 1 by root 2 pi twice of 0 to a cos sx dx right so now you know what is uh, the integration of cos theta it is sine theta and because you are taking this as theta considering this as theta so differentiation of sx that would be s in division okay so root 2 will be cancelled with this root 2 will be left so root 2 upon pi limit 0 to a so once you put a so this would be root 2 by pi sine s a by s right and once you will put 0 in the lower limit that would be 0 so this is your Fourier transform okay so your Fourier transform is root 2 by pi or you can say 2 by root 2 pi sin s a by s. Okay. So this is now what question is asking for evaluate this. So this means you have whenever with transform you are given with some other question that evaluate particularly this thing that means you have to apply inverse Fourier as well. Okay. So for inverse Fourier let's see what we can do. Just a bit. So, I guess this will be sufficient. All right. So, if we see, we should take some other color. Okay. Now, your fs you have already got, which is root two by pi sin s a by s right now your for inverse for your transform is fx is root 1 by root 2 pi minus infinity to infinity e raised to power minus iota sx fs ds right so that means 1 by root 2 pi minus infinity to infinity e raised to power minus sx would be here you you got because this is minus so you will get the value in minus so this would be cos sx minus iota sin sx okay so now this is your value of e raised to power minus sx now fx which is you already got here okay so that means bear with me so 
this is root 2 by pi sin s a by s right now in left hand side if you see fx what would be the value of fx here the values which are given in question that means 1 and 0 for x modulus less than a and x modulus greater than a right now <clears throat> what values you will be having here if you distribute root 2 will be cancelled with root 2 in denominator you will be having 1 by pi square then cos x will be multiplied with this and iota sin x would be multiplied with this when sin is uh, sin and sin will be multiplied this will be 0 because these are even function uh, odd function right then what you are left with 0 to a that means infinity if we put here 0 to infinity cos s x sin s a by s and because I have changed the limit from minus infinity to infinity to 0 to a that means because of the even function we will be having 2 here okay and on left hand side if you see this is the value for minus a to a that means whenever modulus is less than a so we will be having 1 here right then you are having this value you can uh, solve it you know how 0 to a if we apply if we put anything cos s x and sin s a if you see the question we have everything as similar or you can you know because limit are given to us in the form of minus infinity to infinity only so you can take minus infinity to infinity only let's leave 2 because now uh, we are having this but if you see now you can ask why I'm not taking this because it is imaginary part imaginary whereas on the left hand side we have real part you know that if we are having this uh, form real and imaginary and on the right hand side we have only image uh, real part then a will be equal to 1 there will be no imaginary part right b will be 0 therefore we are not taking this into consideration what all we have got is 1 by pi square minus infinity to infinity let's say this is all ds right because i am having here cos lambda x right i'm not having s and in denominator also i'm having lambda instead of s so can we put s as lambda because what it will provide us is cos instead of s lambda sine instead of s lambda d lambda pi lambda and then this pi square will be taken on the left hand side so pi square will be this value which is of the question form i'm hoping you have got this so whenever you are you are asked to find out the Fourier transform you will apply this formula and if evaluation is there or uh, finding out another value is there then you have to apply inverse and check what is given there and find out that value i'm hoping you have understood it and if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel till my next video take care of yourself Bye bye